Picture this. You're happy about a promotion at work because the long hours and late nights have finally paid off. But your coworkers don't seem too happy. Some might even be talking about favoritism or how you've had an unfair advantage. So my question to you, have you ever felt really happy about a personal achievement, but then felt diminished after a negative comment by a coworker, friend, or family member? If so, then you've encountered a phenomenon that's called the crabs in the bucket mentality. So in this video, I will define this mindset and provide a few real world examples of how you might deal with it from other people. Now be sure to watch this whole video all the way to the end because I will also provide four actionable strategies you can use to stop those crabs from pinching you. Finally, we talk a lot about success habits to level up your life on this channel. So be sure to like this video, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to see more content like this in the future. What is the crab in a bucket mentality? Something interesting happens when you put crabs in a small bucket. If it's one crab, it can claw its way out and return to the wild. But when you put a bunch of crabs in a bucket, if one tries to climb out, the rest pull it back into the bucket. Further, if the crab tries to climb out a second time, the other crabs gang up on the crab again and may begin to break its claws to completely hinder its progress. This means that none of the crabs end up escaping because they are all working against each other. Unfortunately, this mentality is often translated into human behavior. The crab mentality is a metaphor for how humans respond when they see someone else around them achieve a goal that they can't achieve themselves. It's a classic example of that phrase, if I can't have it, neither can you. While humans may not physically attack others like the crabs do, they may try to break other people's spirits when they see someone else is on their way to success. When people with crab mentality see others around them advancing, they subconsciously, or even consciously, reach out to hold them back. They do what they can to hinder progress or even stop the person from simply trying to succeed. To illustrate this mindset, here are a few examples of when you might encounter someone with a crabs in the bucket mentality. When you want to lose weight, but a friend says that you look fine and that it's all right to indulge because they don't want to make the same commitment. When a coworker knows you're trying to save money, but constantly cracks jokes about how you pack your own lunch every day. When you'd like to focus on personal growth and start a morning routine, but your spouse mocks your efforts at getting up early. When you get a well-deserved promotion, but someone at work starts a rumor implying you didn't get it fairly. When you're trying to build a side hustle, but a family member tells you that the idea will never work. Sure, sometimes these comments are intended to be constructive criticism, but often a person will say something negative because they aren't willing to put in the work to change their life, so they belittle anyone who tries. Fortunately, there is some good news. If you're surrounded by people who try to pull you down, then remember the classic quote from Jim Rohn. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You can't change the people around you, but you can surround yourself with new people who will encourage your personal growth. Here are four strategies that can help. Number one, join a topic-specific Facebook group. There are Facebook groups of any interest, viewpoint, or hobby. So if you want to find your people, then you can easily find them on this social media site. The key here is to actually participate in the conversation instead of just lurking. Answer questions from other people, share great information, celebrate your wins, and congratulate others when they achieve an important milestone. Number two, work with an accountability partner. This partnership is a mutually agreed upon relationship to coach each other on a regular basis to increase each other's success. So if you're focusing on an important goal, then find someone who also wants to make this change and then agree to help each other out. To learn more, we will link to a few articles about accountability partnerships in the description box of this video. Number three, attend local events. There's probably a meetup in your area where people share a similar interest. So sign up for an upcoming event, then go out and meet your people. You could also find a local class that teaches a new skill. Not only will this help you learn something new, it will also connect you with people who are motivating and encouraging. Now I know it's hard to do in-person events because of everything that's happened in 2020, but many meetups and events are now virtual. So be sure to check out the online options in your local area. Number four, practice self-education. Sometimes the best person to understand how other people hold you back is someone who has traveled down the same road as you. 
This person can become your virtual mentor by sharing their ideas through a book, podcast, or even a YouTube video. You can tap into this knowledge by building a 10-15 to 15 minute morning habit where you practice self-education. For more on this, be sure to watch our video on the 12 morning habits of the world's most successful people. So there you have it. Four strategies to minimize those crabs in your life. You can't change how other people think or what they will say, but you can change your environment and who you decide to spend the most time with. So try one or two of the strategies we just discussed and you'll be on your way to surrounding yourself with the right kind of people. Now, if you want to watch more videos that will help you get results in your life, then be sure to check out our playlist on how to build habits that stick. Again, the link is in the description box. Finally, we talk a lot about success habits to level up your life on this channel. So be sure to like this video, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stick around to watch the next video in our channel.